This is the Horse Radio Network. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1333. This time, I'm going to toss out some of my favorite listener submitted and some of my own tack room storage hacks. This episode was brought to you by the Horse Radio Network Auditors. All right, everybody, it's springtime as I record this tip. And in the springtime, that means spring cleaning. Well, the only way I can get motivated to give my tack room some spring cleaning is to get to reorganize it when I put it all away again, because I love reorganizing things. So I have a couple of tips on things that I love to do that I either thought up myself or that listeners brought to the table. We're going to start with the big stuff. Where do you put things? Well, of course, there's plastic totes. Everybody uses plastic totes for everything these days, but they're sort of mostly airtight, which is a good thing because then they're sort of also rodent proof. But things tend to want to mold inside of there. Quick and easy way to help keep that at bay. And this one's thanks to listener Scott. Silica cat litter. It's the same stuff you buy in those little packs to keep keep things dry in your home, but you can buy it in bulk from the cat litter department, and it's silica cat litter. Don't get the clay kind. Just pour a scoopful or so inside of a nylon sock and drop it inside of each tote. It helps out a lot. Also, uh, keep rodents at bay in all of your storage units by using cedar. You can get cedar bedding from the reptile department at your local mega store. Put it inside of a sock. Again, nylon works great because it's breathable. And drop inside of all sorts of places, whether they're closets, drawers, or totes, or just around the edges of things because rodents don't seem to like cedar a whole bunch. Now, why are you going to put all those totes? Put them on a baker's rack. I bought one for my tack room, and I love it. Just get yourself a baker's rack from your local megastore or online. They're about 30 bucks, and they fit three totes across just perfectly and just dirty enough. They're breathable. You don't have a whole lot of dust buildup, and critters can't make nests on them so easily as a flat shelf that has been made out of plywood. So there you go. That's the big stuff. Now on to some little bits. Um, Bridles should always hang on bridle racks, not on a single skinny hook, because that encourages the leather to develop a fold in it. Don't want that. Quick and easy and cheap, well, technically free, bridle rack, tuna fish cans or cat food cans. You can attach them directly to the wall, or you can spray paint them all adorable, attach them to a one by six, and then attach it to the wall. They work great. If you want something a little snazzier, you can get the get the finial tops for fence posts that are made out of wood that have been turned into cute little round shapes. They come with a screw already on the end. You will need a reasonably substantial wall to hook them on just because the screw is so long. But if you paint them all up, they look really clever and you can have a kind of a, a fancy look for about four bucks a piece. Saddle racks. Saddle racks are always fun to uh, DIY. And I came across this one, I believe it was on Pinterest or some Facebook page or other. You can just take a five-gallon bucket, attach it to the wall. Now, you're going to want to use some substantial screws. Screws are A, long enough, and B, have a sufficient diameter. And then you're going to also want to put a great big washer on that bucket. You're going to have your bucket hanging up with at least four screws so that they don't want to twist when you toss saddles up and down on them. And they have the added advantage of being able to put stuff inside the bucket when the saddles are on there. This might not work great if you have really heavy Western saddles, but if you've got lighter weight Western saddles and most English saddles fit just fine on there, you can put your bell boots in there, you can put your brush bucket in there, works fabulously. If you have those inexpensive two by four shaped hanging racks that you can fold back down, you'll notice that when you put your saddle on and on and on off, especially English saddles, the gullet of your saddle gets a little scuffed up. Help to avoid that, just take yourself a pool noodle, use a X-Acto knife and cut a slice through it and pop it right on top. Helps keep from getting scuffed up. Woohoo! Win for everybody. Here at Horse Radio Network headquarters, we have driving and riding going on. So we have harnesses to hang up and harnesses are a little tricky. Harness racks are a little expensive. Discovered something recently. You can use a wall mount hose rack to put the driving saddle on. That's the part that goes around the middle of the horse if you're not a driver. It also works fabulously for the breaching and traces. 
And for about four bucks a piece, you can hang them on the wall and hang your sat your uh, harnesses up in no time flat. Blankets and spare saddle pads can be a headache to store away. If you don't want to put them into totes, you can put them into the under bed storage bags. They're breathable. So what I would recommend is tossing in there a bunch of the cedar that I alluded to earlier. You can get them for about two bucks, two for 10 bucks on your local Mega Mart, and they work great storage. I can fit two full-sized horse blankets in one under bed storage unit. Uh, they're lightweight blankets, not heavies. Probably heavies, you're going to get one each. So plan accordingly. Um, for grooming tools, galloping boots, the over-the-door style shoe holders, you can get the snazzy expensive one or the super cheap one, wherever your budget likes to be. And they're great for stuffing things like that into. And for boots or bottles and do, that you want to put into a table type setting, you can get those reusable and inexpensive holders that you put your wine in when you go to the grocery store and you can pick wine or or, or other liquor. It has those little compartments. They're great for holding your shampoo and spray bottles and that like upright, whether it is on a shelf or inside of one of your trunks. And that one came from another listener. I think that was the Jennifer maybe hand me that one. And there you go. So those are some of my favorite tack room hacks. If you've got tack room hacks, I'd love to see them over on Horse Tip Daily's Facebook page. Go to Horse Tip Daily on Facebook, post them right up there, and we'd love to hear about them. Well, there you have it. This podcast was made possible through the generous support of listeners like you, specifically our auditors. Learn how you can help support Horse Radio Network programming and qualify for auditors only perks by going to Horse Tip Daily and clicking on the Become an Auditor banner on the page. You can listen to all of your favorite Horse Radio Network shows on the Horse Radio Network app. Go to your app store, search Horse Radio Network, download it today. It's quick, it's free, it's easy. Help the less tech-savvy people in your life do the same. You can also subscribe via iTunes or your favorite podcatcher. This is Coach Jen, and until next time, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show.